Hello, madam. Greetings, sir. Welcome. Please sit down. Thank you. Uh, what can I do for you? Okay, I came so that uh, you can refund my money. To refund your money? Yes, sir. I don't think I've met you before. <laughs> uh, We've not met actually. But my husband, hey, my husband worships in your church. Who's your husband? My husband is Mr. Martin. <laughs> Martin has stolen all the money in our house and sold to you as he said. I might decide to forget other ones. But you see the last one he gave to you? The 100,000 naira that I borrowed to offset my, my, my son's uh, uh, school expenses. I will not let that one go. Please give it to me so I can go. Thank you, sir. Madam, I... Nobody, and I don't think I can entertain stories like that in my office. Martin is not a child. He's a full-grown man. Whatever seed or offering, gift he gave to the Lord, he was not compelled to do that. He gave willingly. I said, he was compelled to do that. Yes! You compel members of your church to do exactly what you want them to do with your sermon. Yes, I've confirmed from other people. You, you go about defrauding people of their hard earnings. This will not happen, Olga. Give me the money, let me go. Listen, I respect highly the woman, but I know when I'm being insulted. You have just called me a fraudster, and I don't think to maintain civility, I will ask you to leave my office. <laughs> I respect men a lot. That is why I came here quietly. So that you can refund my money. And that why he go? Nobody will know that I even came here. 100,000 naira, give it to me, let me go. No, madam. I think when you insult me, I went to school and I will not entertain any manner of insult from you. How dare you walk into my office, begin to tell me of a seed that was sown to the Lord. Who does that? Who does what? Is it because I've been keeping quiet? Oh, madam, take my office. I will not leave this place until you give me the money. What is that? What do you think? I will not leave this place until you give me my money. Look at that woman. What is that? Who are getting? What is it? David, ask this woman if I'm going her. Ask your man of God to give me my money. My hundred thousand naira. He must give it to me. Else I will not leave this place. A seed that was sown to the Lord. I will not leave this place. Which In the vineyard of the Lord. Which vineyard? Which vineyard? Which vineyard? Which vineyard? The God call you. Yeah, I want to go, but now you come out. So, so every demon, every demon uh, had it that calls himself pastor. Uh, Who is he? He's a pastor. Are you aware you are talking to the general overseer of this? Yes. Which general overseer? Eh? Which general overseer? Okay, let me go. Let me, let me go, go out from here. Look, Give me my money. I am not a gentleman of God. You must mind your words before me. I was on the street before God. God. Are you a gentleman of God? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. The way you talk to me, you think you're a gentleman of God. Do you think you're a gentleman? I will break your head. You don't know me. I was on the street before I was gone. I will break your head. 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 Give me that money, yo. Let me collect this one first. Give me the money. Hello? Alfred? Yes, yes, yes. We all are here. We are waiting for you to come so that we can start. I am on my way, Azali. I will soon join you. Ah. Okay, please. Hurry up. Hurry up. It's not the audience. Sir. Yes. Okay. Uh, but before he join us, let me remind everybody that uh, this Friday is the last day for the payment of our community development levy. And everybody will have his own share of the money. Yeah? So that we can pay at the right time. Um, uh, uh, please, I want to know how much is our own share of the money? It's still uh, 20,000 naira each family. 
Um, uh, 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 Nai, yeah. this is 20,000 Naira hey. for everybody. Martins, Martins, Martins. All of us. I always <laughs> trust what you can do. Hey. More, more, you know, more, 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 uh, we all know why we are here. And without uh, further delay, let Mazie Jidike here tell us what transpired that led to Nenna packing out to, to her parents. Let us, uh, let us have first hand information of the matter before uh, meeting our in laws. Eh? So that we can solve the matter and bring her back. What have you done? Get the Let's turn very well. But can I unku say fa? Me kuzi yaza. What actually happened was I came back late. There was no food for me. And you all know, she wouldn't have gone to bed on an empty stomach. Only just to get for one number. Oh, she started insulting me. At the point, I got angry. As she continued to rain insults at me. I beat her. I was joking. I was joking. I was I won't say either of you is wrong or right. But the truth of the matter is, she should have prepared something for you to eat, no matter how small. That is what a true wife does. At least, if she would have done that, what happened should not have happened. Thank you, Dalo. Uh, well, uh, as, as Oyan is, is the wrong way. If I, I heard what you said, Nai. And with what you said, I heard you say she complained that you did not give her money to prepare some food. Mm -hmm. If I if I should uh, if I should say Asunkwe, I think it is not really right for you to beat her. Because that woman may might not have gone to bed with food because there was no food in the house. Yes. Do you understand? Mm. So it is not really proper to beat her up. Martin, Martin, what is not right? What is not right? Or what is not proper? Let me ask you. Are you the one to tell me how to run my family? Eh? Are you the one to take care of my family? Mind your business. And don't provoke me any further. Just mind your business, you. Why are you so angry about this? Is it that I don't have the right to contribute as well? You have the right to contribute, but not with a good sense. Let your contribution be sensible, not to insult me. Which I give you? I don't see anything wrong in what Martin said. He may express his view. That's all. Exactly. Exactly. I am of the same opinion with Martins. Huh? You should have beaten the woman at all. But since we are of the same family, let us reason together and see how we can go and plead with the woman to come back. You share the same opinion with Martin. <laughs> I'm not surprised. I am not surprised at all. I'm not. Calm down. I'm not going to tell you what I'm not surprised. I know all of you will support him. 
Ah, yes! Master. I know you will spot. Come on. Let us. We are here already. Let us as a united family. Please go back and plead the woman with the woman to come back. Yes. Little Allah. I know all of you will support him because he will continue to pay your bills. Yes! Martin, Martin, don't pray for me. I have the money to pay. I am surprised that you are misunderstanding me. Eh? Look, I, I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Please, I am sorry if I offended you with my contribution. Pico. Look at my now. Simple mathematics. Simple mathematics. Angry, hungry, plus continued insult. Obriabu equal to Bitka. Indeed, you have a life. You have a go on. I've seen that tempers are rising. And the best thing to do at this point in time is to call up this meeting and reschedule it. The little success he has made has come to say that he now plays God. He does whatever he likes and shows no respect to anyone. Incredible. Hey! And where does he live? He lives in the city. But comes from occasionally, merely, merely to show off his wishes, which which influences other family members to accept his opinion on any important matter. He influences other family members to accept his own opinion. You don't know that boy. You don't know. He does whatever he likes. It's like he's the ruler of the family. He controls everything. That boy, a little boy that I knew when he was born. Can you imagine? He embarrassed me in our family meeting, saying that I was wrong to have disciplined my own wife. And everybody accepted it. That is not acceptable. That is not acceptable. And what do you want from the gods? I want his business to suffer a serious setback so that he will learn to be humble and stop prognosing into what doesn't concern him. Can you get money? from his hand. I mean, money directly from his hand without passing through another hand. But I will try. It, is, it won't be that possible. Hi, if it was before now, eh? I would say it would be easy because uh, whenever he comes home, he used to give me money. He will come to make peace with you. And I see him giving you money. And then if that happens, I will bring money to you immediately now. I'll bring the money. Does he live close to you? Yes. We are family members. His house is not far from mine. he comes to your house on screen and call his name seven times then pour it on the path where he will pass 
with his vehicle or on foot. Then leave the rest for me. Oh, I can comfortably do that. Yes. I will get to do that the way nobody will notice I've done something. I will do it. And when he brings the money, bring it to me. Then I will seal his fate. I will finish the job and his fate will be sealed. And he will never make noise again. Hey, You may go. I don't have money to thank you, eh? Let's do it. Let me go first. Martin, I am a man. I am a man. I am a man. I am This is 100,000 naira. My husband said I should give it to you. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a surprise. <laughs> this is too much. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, you can't allow your husband to foot all the bills without assisting him. Besides, my husband told me how your father helped him when he was trying to establish his business. So he vowed that he would take care of those that your father left behind. This is big. I wish I met him in the house to express my gratitude to him. Yeah, he waited for you before leaving the house. But he said that he must see you before the wedding. I would appreciate that. Please extend my gratitude to him. Then I'm so happy and I'm very grateful. <laughs> I will. So tell me, how are you preparing for the wedding? Well, everything is going on as planned. Mm, every other arrangement will be in place by next week. By next week. <laughs> I am glad that you are going into this marriage as a child of God. And that uh, both of you have um, true love. Is he any couple that have true love existing between both of them, there is no challenge or obstacle that they cannot overcome. I believe so. I can proudly say that we are genuinely in love. I will pray that God continue to keep us together. And bless the marriage too. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Ati. You're welcome. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. I am done with my assignment in the village here. Oh. Mm. So I will be leaving to the city as soon as I I leave here. Okay. That's fine. Uh, what about the committee issue? Did you see matters and yesterday? I will solve the issue with him. Yes, I did. Uh -huh. I did. As soon as I left her yesterday, I went to Alfred's place. Then from there, I went to his house to discuss with him. Mm. I told him that it would be difficult for me to attend the community meeting twice a week. Uh, 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 that uh, I should find someone to replace me. Uh, uh, and he accepted. Uh, that's fine. Right. Yes. Uh, 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 he should find someone around mm. to replace you. Oh, uh, because it will be stressful for anybody to be attending the meetings from the city. Mm. Uh, oh, 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 it's okay. Uncle, I'll soon be leaving now in the next one hour. Oh. I have an appointment to catch. It's just 5,000 naira. Eh? Martin. What are you? Are you okay? Okay. My, oh, all this for me? Ah, Martin, yeah. Oh, yeah, my hey. brother. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so, well, I am. Mm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you very much. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. yeah. God will replenish the source from which it came yeah. many, many, many more times. He said, He said, Oh, God, go see. He said, Oh, God, go see. Oh, God, go Oh, God, go see. Oh, God, go Hey, thank you. Then <laughs> 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 I did as we instructed. I collected the money for him without it. Passing through another hand. And where is the money? Who did get? What of the substance? I also did as you instructed. Mm. He visited me on two occasions and on each rolled the tires of his vehicle on it. Then you have done everything that you are supposed to do. Leave the rest for us. There's nothing more needed from me. Nothing. Where's you go? Where's Another bad dream. Honey, I think you should see the pastor. This is getting too much. I think you should see the pastor. Yes, you should see him. Or do you want me to come with you? No, never mind. I'll go see him myself. Please do. Because I don't see these as mere dreams. It could be that God is trying to use these dreams to reveal something for you. Yeah. I feel the same way too. Well, I, I actually go see the pastor this evening. Right? It's okay. So how are my in-laws? I hope they're fine. Oh, they're great. <laughs> and they are happy about the gift you sent to them. Really? <laughs> yes, they said I should extend their gratitude. No, come on, they're my in-laws. They deserve the best. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay. So, um... Are you not going out today? Yeah, I'll, I'll be going to work. But I was actually waiting for you to discuss this sensitive matter with you. But you can prepare my breakfast while I take my shower. Huh? Alright. And are you not going to office today? No, my annual leave is still running. I have three days left. I'll be resuming on oh. one day. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's okay. I'll be waiting for you in the room. Alright. <laughs> Pastor, this is the second time. The first time was a man who seemed to have a resemblance to my uncle. He pursued me and caught up with me and was about to use his matches to cut me. Then I woke up. Jesus! Another bad dream. A nightmare. Then when you say liar, give me your hands, let's pray. The devil is a liar. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Abba, Father. Then the second dream is um, two young men. They had knife to stab me. As they were about to stab me, I screamed and woke up. I, I, I mean, I, I'm so scared. I couldn't sleep all through that night. Did you pray and cancel that dream immediately? Uh, no, I, I, I couldn't. I, I was so unsettled and scared. I couldn't pray. But the the one that happened the night of the first incident, 
my wife was around and we prayed together. Okay. And Brother Martins, on these two incidents, this your attackers, did they succeed in hurting you? No, no, they didn't. In fact, I, I screamed and woke up on both of them when they were about to uh, uh, succeed. Yes, but none of them were able to attack. But one thing I'm experiencing right now is uh, I am beginning to experience some hiccups in my business. Jesus. Jesus. That is the enemy. That is the work of the enemy with the Martins. You see, God is using that dream to inform you of the evil plot of the enemies against your life. And you must pray. But the matter is, you must pray to avert it. Good, please. Pray with those scripture verses. Ask God to nullify every evil plot against your life, your family, and your business. You have to do these prayers with fasting from 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. for three days. I know that our God, who is a consuming fire, will frustrate all the evil plots. Amen. You have to start immediately, probably tomorrow. I know that God will frustrate their evil plots. Amen. Oh, thank you very much, Pastor. You're welcome. And, and Pastor, please, I may not start tomorrow. Yes, I, I, I have an important meeting that I'm presiding on. The same tomorrow. And um, the second one again is um, my niece's wedding. I am, I am one of the chairmen there and one of the, on, on the high table. So they will misunderstand me if I don't test anything in these events. So I think it's preferable if I can start on Sunday. It's okay. I, it's not really a problem. I don't have a problem with when you want to start. But I'm just telling you what God has revealed to me. Okay, so it is left for you to know when it's convenient for you. Okay, but like I said, the earlier the better. Okay? Thank you very much, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm sure they may. Honey, uh... The reasons are all good. But I don't think you should go against God's directives simply because of what people would say. What he told you was revealed to him by the Holy Spirit. I don't doubt it. And I'm not saying that I won't observe the fasting and prayers. The problem is to adjust the time that will be convenient for me. Honey. Adjusting the time might do us more harm than good. There is no time for adjustment. We don't have time. Remember this recent setback you complained about? Your uncle is clearly not happy with you. You told me that he was among the people you've been seeing in your dreams. That he wants to attack you. So he's not happy with you. There's no time for adjustment. But that's not how to interpret dreams. That the fact that he, we saw him in the dream doesn't make him our enemy. Um, just, um, besides that, I don't think he has a heart to hurt me. Really? But he attacked you in the family meeting. He told you that you should stop meddling in the affairs of his family. That you shouldn't be the one to tell him how to run his home. <laughs> and you are there telling me that he doesn't have the heart to, to attack you. Huh? You think he is happy with you? Do you think so? He's in there. But we resolved the matter. I apologized to him and he accepted. I even visited his house. And all is well. Martin, you amaze me. So, you think by visiting his house, apologizing to him, everything is now fine, everything is settled, just like that? Isn't it? He's still my blood. 
my uncle. The, uh, he won't hurt me. The only thing is um, we all have understood that God has revealed everything to us. I'm not withstanding. I'm only looking at adjusting the time to start the fasting and prayers on Sunday. That, will be, that won't be a bad idea. You have obviously made up your mind. So I'm not force you. It's okay. Isn't it as well? Never mind, fear not. That's what the Bible told us. Remember? Uncle? Yes. What about you, isn't it? Yes, she's um preparing as well okay but uh as soon as i drop you over i'll go pick her up then we'll come along all right congratulations thank you <laughs> It's my wife. Cut it. Please let me pick it up, please. Let me just answer her. You know, we're going for a wedding. Stupid Okay, cut it. Oh, look, you can So listen, I'm telling you for the last time, go quit with us so that your life can remain. Do you hear that? It's okay. Go just called me and said some hoodlums attacked Martin in front of their house and drove away with Martin's Jeez. in his vehicle, abandoning the house. Jesus, let me be. You should be thanking God that no life was lost. Exactly. Yes. Because some unlucky ones will lose their car, yet be killed. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. 
There have been cases like that. One of our brother died last year as a result of this circumstance. They snatched the car away from him and still shot him. Yeah. On the way reaching to the hospital, he died. It's a pity, sir. Sure. It's okay. Uh, my dear, I am happy. I am grateful for my husband's life. I am happy. Because once there is life, there is hope. Exactly. I believe that the good Lord will give us money to buy another car. Amen. A better one. Amen. <laughs> yes, he will. And that will happen very soon. Amen. Amen. So, my in law, in law, in law, I had everything went well. Isn't it? Yes, everything went fine. They totally kept everything away from us. Until after the wedding. They told us that you asked us to continue, that you would join us later. But everything was kept away from us until after the wedding. Of course, you have to do so, so that they won't distract you from your wedding. Yeah. You know, the whole thing was so strange that when I gained freedom, I realized that that moment you must have been in your reception, you know, jollificating, you know. <laughs> and I knew that I was not going to, I was not going to make it. So I decided to go home, at least to report to my wife that I'm still alive. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> this is just the beginning of your problems. You poked your nose into a matter that doesn't concern you. Um, yeah. The news came so early, but we quickly reached a decision to go on with the wedding and keep it from the celebrants. That was why none of you heard about it until after the wedding, as you said. In all, I thank God. I thank God it's only the cow they are talking about here. Eh? I thought you were not harmed. Eh? Yeah, oh, no, okay, I can enjoy. Yeah? Always, always. Hi, Nidoshi. You know, uh, that's the, that is the most important thing. Those of us who were here earlier yesterday and could not attend the wedding, as a result of the incident, we are confused and do not know what to do or how to be of help because there was no contact with him whatsoever. It's true. You're right. Do you know that that moment when they when I was with them was the actual time my wife was calling my number? But they stopped me from picking my call. In fact, they seized my phone. Hey. Yes. They switched it off and seized my phone. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't, there was no means of communication. Who got on their mall? Ah, I knew something was wrong. Because the phone was from there. All of a sudden, it was switched off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew something was definitely wrong. Ah. But all the same, I thank God. Mm. We are here. You are healthy and you are alive. Yeah, thank you. All thanks to God. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, Martin, uh, please uh, don't take this ugly incident to heart. Eh? Please up, handle it with majority. So, uh, yeah. Something much more better than the car was shortly come. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, they came to um, to sympathize with me for the loss of the car. Yeah, but what uh, baffled me the most is um, the way Mike was testifying about his church. And it's a personal issue. He visited his church this Sunday. <laughs> did you visit his church? Yeah. Why did he say that? <sighs> You know, he was saying that a lot has been happening in that church. That God's presence is there. Um, I, he said I should come and see the happenings, what God has been doing in the church at least. So, what are the happenings in the church? Okay. Um, he said something about the, the, um, the stickers. Yeah. That the stickers have the potency to protect lives and properties. Come on, Machaka. Let me just go there and see to myself. Oh, no, no, no. something I can buy. Let me just know. Okay. So, you want to buy the stickers? Uh, not necessarily. But if I go there and see reasons to buy, why not? I'll buy for myself and buy for you too. <laughs> 
you know, just to protect them now. Uwa Jakako. You understand? The world is evil. Martins, the truth is that stickers from anointed men of God are powerful. But if you don't know who this particular man of God is, you don't know where his powers are coming from. We don't know if he's anointed by God or if he's uh, just doing a church business. I mean, 419. No, no. This man is a true man of God. Listening to Mike, that man is a true man of God. Yes, he has been doing a lot of miracles. You know, performing, I mean, releasing power upon people's life. Those who started there with nothing. I excessively rich today. So, let me just go and see to myself. Let me just confirm. So, what exactly do you want to do now? And then let me just go and confirm. Like I earlier said, come for the heaven and when I see, see him is believing, you know? Let me just see to myself and uh, when I come back out, testify what God has done. At least, charity begins somewhere. Martins, be careful. Don't allow anybody to deceive you. Be careful. No, as smart as I am. <laughs> Ah, the key mass and pop. Pastor, let me do transfer for me and my wife. I think it will be better that way. That's okay. In fact, um, Ibechi, you're a very wonderful person. And for all the support you have given the ministry, you will never lack. Amen. Amen. What um makes me very happy is to see the kind of unity between yourself and your wife. How both of you just bent your heads and conferred and decided to come out. Some other couple would have just uh, said to one, go and represent us. So continue with that unity. Yeah. Mm. But we don't do things that way. We don't do it. My wife uh, always believed that uh, what is good for the goose is also good for the ganda. All we need is double portion of the blessing. If she get hers and I get mine, that's a double portion for us. And may you receive that double portion in Jesus' name. Amen. But Bichi, the only thing that bothers me is this your movement to put her out. I don't it's going to have a negative impact on our ministry. How do you miss that? I don't understand. Of course, Brother Bechi, between you and I, you're one of the pillars of this ministry. Losing you is like losing an asset. But my wife is still here. She's not joining me until I settle down. We shall know that it will take up to a year. She too will be contributing in the church when the need arises and also participating in the church program. Why I myself will be visiting occasionally and also participating in the church program whenever my ransom. Well, um, that's okay. Um, we'll remember you in our prayers. And the greatest of our prayers will be that uh, after one day, you'll come back to us here. All right, let me pray for you. Our Lord and our Father, your children are before you. You know their hearts. Meet them at the point of their needs. As our brother prepares to take his leave, Pastor, I, I forgot to tell you this yesterday about an issue in my family where I needed counseling. What is the matter? It's my wife's conservative attitude towards change of place of worship. And the way I understood her and her belief, I don't think she would like to join me to worship here. And I wouldn't know how the church will see it if she refused. Well, in as much as uh, you're married, that won't be a problem. It would have been a different ball game if you were single. Then I would have uh, advised. Maybe uh, you marry one of our beautiful girls here, but you're married, so we don't have any issues with that. It's okay. 
Okay, ah, that's interesting. I indeed a man of wisdom. <laughs> because I wouldn't know how the church will see it if you refuse to join me. No, no, don't think about it. It's not uh, whatever we do in our commission is to encourage uh, unity in families and so on. You know, the, the race for heaven uh, is not a joint venture. At least at the rapture, the Bible tells us one will be taken and the other left. So it's not an issue. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Huh? You're the oracle yourself. No, listen. <laughs> when the blessings start flowing to you, she will naturally come here without any business. Amen. Because what we practice here is practical Christianity. Where people share the wonders of God and give their testimony. All right. So never worry about it. Ah, thank you very much, Pastor. You're welcome. And I have peace of mind. This. Which I'm is grateful. good. Which is good for a clear head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful, Pastor. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Pastor. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Ten persons stood up and played for 500,000 naira each. I just stayed quiet. I said, let me watch them. I don't want to say anything. Till I watch them for free their pledges. And they did. Within the space of three days. They're quite interesting. All ten persons. Mm -hmm. How did you know this? Mm -hmm. Mike told me. He said somebody close to the pastor mentioned it. And from all indication, it is true. <laughs> so did you bother to know who these people are and what they do for a living? Mm, that, that won't be necessary. To the very big church, you should know that. A big one. So most of the people there are made men. Some could be businessmen, businesswomen, and some might be working in the bank. So they're worth it. So Martins, tell me, do you have other reasons for attending that church aside the prosperity? Hmm. I just want to Well. My reasons are enough. Being in a very big church like that, where people, you know, pledges one million and above, 500,000, and they fulfill it. Is that not miracle enough? So let me join them and do what my mates do. At least I can't wait to do what they do. That's the major thing anyways. So what exactly do your mates do? Nay. Nee. Many of them are building hotels. Some are even building filling stations. In fact, Mike, my very good friend, will soon complete his own filling station. 
Very so. How does he get the money? Same thing we're talking about. So let's let me join them with the uh, with the same church so that I can share the same testimonies. Eh? Don't you want me to get more properties? <laughs> Very well then. I am not going to interfere. But I want you to know that all that glitters is not gold. I want you to be very careful. As for me, I don't have any reason to change my place of worship. I'm very much comfortable with where I'm worshipping. Well, it's no problem. Whatever you're doing, do it well. You can still remain there. Let me join my candle share the good things of the Lord. And the good part of it is, the pastor said that I don't need to pray that much. Mm. All I need is just sow seeds, mm. prophetic seeds and offerings, and even tithes, and things will turn around for good. Oh. <laughs> you can imagine that magic. <laughs> just seeds. <laughs> exactly. Tithes <laughs> and offerings. <laughs> So, how often do you see your husband? I speak with him every day. He called me this morning, and um, if he doesn't call me, I call him. So, we are instead of contact. Oh, that's very good. Very, very good. We need to embark on a three day prayer session for him. The Spirit of God revealed to me that there are a lot of people envying his position in his place of work. We must do prayers for him immediately. Thank you, Pastor. But what would be better I call him to come home than we do the prayer together? No. We should not be stressing him. That's too much stress. It's something you and I can handle together. You will be in your house and you will pray for the three days. On the third day, you come here or when you, we agree in the, in the church uh, auditorium uh, to close the prayers. Okay, the, the arrangement is okay by me. So when are we starting the prayer? Um, we can start uh, tomorrow, unless you are not ready. I'm very much ready, sir. Let's start tomorrow. Tomorrow it is. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you. Sir, it's 6 p.m. already. Shall we not pray? No. Um, you must continue meditating on the scriptures we have read. Okay? This is not a time to joke. It's a time to be serious. So you have to make sure your phone is switched off. Avoid any form of distraction. Words are not things you play with when you have a spiritual session too. Behold. Okay. So um, when I'm told by the Spirit that will break the fast and close the prayers, I'll tell you. So until I hear from the Spirit, we we'll keep on meditating. Okay? That's okay by me, sir. But my problem now is that I might find it difficult to get home once it's 10 p.m. since I did not come with my car. Oh, come on, that should be the list of your problem. We will close the prayer or whatever time I drop you at your house. Thank you. It's 
the success of a three day fast. In Jesus' name. So, you drink up, I go and drop you in your house. Please. You're welcome. I still want to ask another question. Okay. You know, it's about temptation. You know, people are often confused about who tempts the people of God. You know, uh, they argue that uh, it's not only Satan that can tempt people, that sometimes God may have reason to tempt his children. So I want to know, does God tempt his children the same way Satan tempts us? Pastor Shadrach, no. God cannot tempt anyone. Just look at the scripture. Look at the book of James chapter 1 verse 13. Let's see what the Bible says. James 1 13. Okay. Let no one say he is tempted. I am tempted by God. For God cannot be tempted with evil. And he himself tempts no one. You can see in this passage that we just read that God does not tempt anyone. Yeah. He himself cannot be tempted by anyone or any entity. But that does not mean that God is not aware that the devil brings temptation to his children. Let's again look at the book of Job. Job 1 verse 6 to 12. Job 1, 6 to 12. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan also came among them. The Lord said to Satan, Whence have you come? Satan answered the Lord, From going to and fro on the earth, and from walking up and down on it. And the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job? that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, who fears God and turns away from evil. Then Satan answered the Lord, Does Job fear God for naught? Hast thou not put a, a hedge about him and his household, and all that he has on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. But put forth thy hand now, and touch all that he has, and he will cause thee to thy face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold, all that he has is in your power. Only upon himself do not put forth your hands. So Satan went forth from the presence of the Lord. Right, Pastor Shedrick, stop there. You see, the conversation between God and Satan in this passage tells us one important fact about God. God is fully aware of the plans of the devil to bring suffering to his chosen ones, to his children. But you see one thing, if we can claim, if we can hold on, if we can hold tight to our faith through God, I tell you one thing, God would definitely reward us more than we can ever believe. You get that? Yes. It's at what's the time? I know you have no questions, Pastor Shikra, but it's already time for the meeting. So when I come back, I'll give you answers to those questions. So let's, uh, let's go now, okay? Pastor, we have to see. We have to see. Yes, we have to. How can we help? It's my friend Chica. 
Да, Гарета, это не то. О, о, чика, сюда, сюда. So, what can we do for you? Sir, my name is Nathaniel Ono. My younger brother has a problem, sir. What is wrong with him? My younger brother is sick. It's a mental problem, sir. And you should have taken him to the psychiatric hospital. We have taken him to the hospital twice, but he ran away. Uh, at least you should have taken him back for uh, readmission. We will soon do that, sir. But we want you to pray for him so that he can be calm a bit so that we can now readmit him into the hospital. Oh, I see. So what is his name? Where is he? His name is Tobe. He is outside. Okay, um, Mr. Shidra, let's go and see what God can do for him. Take this time. Leave me alone! Leave me alone! May nobody touch me! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! I know you! You are the servant of God! Please have mercy! Shut up! Shut up, you unclean No! This is the temple of God. No! You have no business to go here. No! You must go out! No! Out! No! In the name of Jesus! Amen! I command you to leave this body. Okay! Leave okay. this body now! Okay! Okay! I will do that! I will do that! I will do that! What else do you want me to do? Your spirit of insanity. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to leave this body. Out of this body! Out! 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 In the name of Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Help him. Help him up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Why are your eyes tight? I don't know. I don't see myself like this. Please help you. Help him on tight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Tight. Thank you. This is not the first time we are hearing this kind of news now. Huh? It doesn't disturb me as a child of God. Whatever. Pastor Raphael can do. We can do. He calls himself a miracle worker. And we know somewhere he's a threat to our church, but we are also miracle workers. You are a miracle worker. You are a miracle worker. I'm a miracle worker. God called all of us. Yes. So make no mistake about it. So the thing is, people like to hear or see where miracles are being performed. Yes. And express their joy. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean that the person should live is a place of worship and worship with the man who performs a miracle. Yeah, but that's what people are. Immediately the people we hear that in Apo Church, miracles are happening there. They will all move in their mass to Apo Church. When they hear say church, that's how people are structured. So you give them what they want with miracles, they give you what you want. It's so so what, what exactly are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? We are going to start a healing service for mad people, for people with uh, various kinds of sickness and illness, and that's what they're going to do. So, how are we going to go about that? Uh, I have it all mapped out. I have asked the gentleman to come. Who's going to help us? Who's going to arrange for this? That's it. What's on do? These are my council members. Pastor Benson and Pastor uh, Michael. This is the guy I was telling you about. Don't, don't mind the shoe. That guy is very creative. He's going to get us people to achieve what we want. It's on the welcome. Nice, nice to meet you. Yes, welcome. Sir, I thought you were about to start. Uh, no, uh, we have not fixed it to commence the healing service. Problem is just that I brought a friend of mine who can just play the man. But since you've not fixed the there's no problem. I'll just I have no other option than to go and come back to the your No, no. The madness can start now. You can bring him, let's know whether he can act the role very well. This is a part of acting role, he has to act the role. So you can bring him, let's see his level of madness. Okay. 
I'll go get him now. Yes. But he has to look real. Let's see whether the guy can play the role very well. Yeah? Whatever most of the things you see are acted. No, make no mistake about it. We're looking for a person who can behave man and start to Okay. Ah, Oibo. I hope he has briefed you. Yes, sir. You've been doing it for other ministries. You have to do it better now. Eh? So, let's see your level of uh, preparedness for madness. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you spirit of insanity, you foul spirit, leave this body. Amen. Leave this body. Amen. Leave this body. Amen. Leave this body. Amen. This is the body of Christ. Amen. You cannot inhabit it. Leave this body. Amen. You foul spirit, you spirit of insanity, I command you, in the name that's above every name, leave this body, never come back, never come back, leave this body, get him up. How many fingers do I have here? Hey, hey! Five fingers, sir. Five fingers. Be saved. <laughs> Amen. Okay. Hallelujah. Clap our friend for Jesus. Hallelujah. This is our first miracle. He has uh, done his bit. But listen, my friend. You have to display. There are levels of madness. I don't know at what level you are now. But you need to tell us that your own madness has gone beyond being a fine boy. Huh? You know you are going to be performing in front of a very big congregation. So some people can read you psychologically and say, no, this is not mad. And then you bring trouble to us. Let your madness exceed that of people in Hollywood. Do you understand? It's about acting. This is your kind of So ask Akokasia, Akokasia. Your husband has not been attending church with you for some time now. So I decided to come here this morning to find out what is happening and to also check in his around. Well, Pastor, my husband stepped out with a friend. He will soon be back. Oh, yes, because he has a meeting later in the day. Pastor, to be honest with you, my husband has been deceived. Jesus. He has been brainwashed. He doesn't reason well anymore. What happened to him? What is the matter? <sighs> he said he wants to try another church to see if his condition will improve. One of his friends came here to sympathize with him okay. when he lost his car. The friend told him about this particular church. According to the friend, things are happening there. So my husband decided to go there and see things for himself. That was how he got stuck. So he feels attending another church will change his condition automatically? Instead of trusting and believing God. I mean, does he feel changing to church will make manna to fall from heaven? That's exactly how he feels. In fact, he cannot discuss anything with you outside that church. What? If you are not talking about that church, to him you are talking nonsense. Has it got into that stage? It's worse, Pastor. <laughs> you, are not, you don't understand. He is obsessed with that church. So does he try to compel you to join him? No, not at all. Okay. It's okay. Just let him be. Don't bother him. Do not disturb yourself, okay? 
I have no new service. That's why I decided to come and see you, Eddie. So I need to. Ah, first of all, I'm even planning to attend the service. In that case, let me join. Let me get my handbag and my bike. Okay. I'll join you. I'll be right back. Okay. Yes, I have. you've gone for your meeting. No, I have a little stint, so I just cleaned up now. So I'm ready to go. You didn't return immediately after service. Did you go elsewhere? Yes, we went to visit one of our sisters, Sister Anne. Oh. She just put to bed, so all the married women in the church went to visit her immediately after service. Oh, okay, well, that's nice. Okay, I'm on my way now. So, Pastor Raphael asked about you. Pastor Raph? Yes. Why? I mean, why is he asking after me? Uh, he has not been seeing you in church, so I think that's enough reason for him to ask. Did we sign an undertaking that I must be in all church activities? Eh? Don't you know that asking of me is enough distraction for him to those who have decided to remain there with him? Honey, calm down. We're not quarreling. No, I just I... want to know. He doesn't mean any harm. He was just showing concern by asking about you. Well, and he's not forcing you to worship with him anyway. Next time if he asked of me, tell him that I have found a new place of worship. Mm -hmm. I've decided to make my choice. Mm -hmm. In fact, that is where things are happening. Where God of prosperity exists. <laughs> I don't know. Is it just my eyes? Because I can't see any change. I can't see things happening. In or around you. Nothing. You're just saying it with your mouth. See, I've not seen anything. Not even your shoe. Don't worry. Very soon, it will happen before your very own eyes. Eh? Then you know the action God you are serving. This will change very soon. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the house, yeah? I'm coming. Take care of yourself. You must forgive me. I saw your call actually, and I said uh, to myself, I'll call you immediately after that. But you know how this things happen, too many things, and I, that's why I didn't call you back. You don't even need to call me back. I only called to find out if you're in the office. And I'm happy I met you here. I know your plan is to destroy my marriage and then ruin my life. But I won't let you do that. Before you do that, I'll tell the whole world who you are. Calm down, calm down. What are you talking about? Tell me, tell me what you're talking about. Tell you what? What do you want me to tell you that you don't know? You laced my dream with drug and raped me. And now have missed my period. What do you want me to tell my husband? Tell me. What do you want me to tell him? Tell me. What kind of temptation is this? Why did I yield to this temptation? Why? It was never a temptation. Well planned, rehazed and executed. You purposely devised a plan. You called three days prayers for my husband to take advantage of me and you call yourself a pastor. You are a devil in disguise. Please, please, believe me, it was the work of a devil. Stop throwing tantrums. Let's find a way before your husband finds out. I will give a note to my doctor so that he can find something to do about this. Please. I'm not ready to see any doctor in this matter. Who is a practicing doctor in this city that my husband does not know? I'm not seeing any doctor, please. No, no, no. I'm not suggesting you go and see him. I will take you there. Then he will do what he has to do. But we need to act fast. Please. It has happened. It has happened. Let's find something to do about it. I bet you. If anything happens to me, you pay dearly. Nothing will happen to you that I know. Please. Upon all the things I and my husband has done for you, you have the heart to do this to me. My God will judge you. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm ashamed of myself.
It may change. It is Dr. Joe. Yes, Dr. Joe. Your wife is in critical condition now. Please, I want you to leave whatever you are doing and come down here immediately. Y yes. Yes, we need you here immediately. Okay, okay. See you then. sick or involved in an accident? No, it wasn't an accident. She was brought in bleeding. The doctor told me that she had a miscarriage. Her condition was very bad before she was brought to the hospital and I did not believe that because I know she wasn't pregnant. Then, what could have been the cause of the bleeding? I don't know. Something else might have caused it. Strange. Very unfortunate. I mean, the last time I saw her was after the three days prayer session. She wasn't looking anyhow or anyway sick. Hmm? So, before she died, did you speak to her to know if she complained of any other thing? She did not. She wasn't even sick. She was healthy when I traveled to Porta Court. We even speak every day on phone. Until yesterday, when the doctor called me and told me about her condition. Oh. Well, let me know about any arrangement so I can inform the church. There's no arrangement yet. Her brothers wanted to ascertain the cause of her death because they believe that somebody killed her. They want to find out who the person is. What do they mean by that? Do they want to consult an aura? I think so. How would they do that? You won't shouldn't allow that. I mean, she's your wife. Why would they begin to divert your mind to something else, to submit to whatever force. You shouldn't allow that to happen. But what can I do? They are brothers and they have already decided. No. Look, you waited her in the church. You paid her dowry, didn't you? Yes, Pastor. Very I did everything. Very good. So, you will stamp your feet and go to them and tell them that your wife was a believer and they cannot bring her under such unholy conduct for their own selfish uh, motives. You can't allow that. I was thinking about that and I will do just that. With this our discussion, I will make them to stop every arrangement they are making to consult the oracle and support me in the arrangement of the barriers. Just let me update it about anything. I will, sir. Brother Beishi, yes, good to see you again. I have uh, not meant to disturb you, but I know you've been carrying on with the barrier plans. So, how far? I'll stop. We have already done the barrier. You've done the barrier. How come you didn't call me or any other church members? What happened? Well, after the issue of consulting the oracle with her brothers, we agreed to take her corpse immediately to the village for burial, and we did just that. We decided not to let anybody know because of the long distance journey. Sir. Even at that, even at that. Um... That's not a proper one to do. I mean, she should have at least told me. And then we can send a representative of the church. 
for such a high-ranking member of the church to be buried without the participation of the church is not proper at all. Well, it is a decision taken unanimously and we do not do that to disregard any person or a group of people. We just decided to do that. That's all. It's okay. I'm not really happy, but um, no, we we'll always show support for the church. Uh, please oblige me with your account details. I can uh, send something from the church so that uh, it will be our own support. You know, Pastor, there's no need for that. We don't need the money. We have already done all the possible things we need to do for the barrier. I just thought it wise to come let you know about the barrier and to tell you that I'm back, sir. Welcome back. Um, no, it's okay. It's okay, so... Um, when are you going back to Port Harcourt? Next week. Next week. We will remember you in our prayers. Okay. Um, you have a safe trip when you go back. But let's be in touch. Okay, sir. Uh, permit me to take my leave. Uh, I have other friends I need to receive. That's okay. Once again, thank you very much. You, we remember you in our prayers. Okay, God bless you. Likewise. Was the same man I told you about that I met at Pastor Douglas' office. He's a brother in the church. I know he's a brother. I am too surprised that you're doubting me, Mike. Is that a criminal? Like I told you before, don't discuss this with anybody. Come on, let, let's go. And see. Mike is the only person that knows about this. I told them, and they advised I shouldn't tell anyone else. So why are you telling me since Mike advised you not to tell someone else? You're not someone else to me, isn't it? Besides, I don't see any reason I should hide things away from you. So you saw the guy and recognized him as one of the robbers that stole your car at God Point? Exactly. The other day that I visited the pastor, reaching there, I saw him stepping out of the office. And the other day, I met him at the supermarket, walking out of the same supermarket where Mike and I went to purchase some items. And Mike told me that he's a member of the church, a popular one at that. Martin, can you listen to me? Yes, listen. If you are tired of worshipping them, come home and rest. Martins, if you are tired, come home and rest. Stop bringing unnecessary problems, troubles and drama into your life. Come home and rest. Mike is Zukwaniki. Rest! So, I have now committed an offense by discussing matters like this with you. I'm sorry. No, you don't need to be sorry. Martins, you don't need to be sorry. Eh? In fact, you should be sorry for yourself. Because that is what you get when you go to places where things are happening. 
Eh? That is the only thing you see there. Ebi Feneme, that is what you get. So why are you complaining? No, this is just the beginning, no? You have not seen anything. <laughs> this is just the genesis. By the time you get to Revelation, everything will be revealed to you. You will understand that you have been foolish. That you have been stupid. Honestly, Martins, I am ashamed of you. In fact, I am disappointed that a man like you will allow yourself to be deceived by prosperity preaching pastor. What has prosperity teaching got to do with this discussion that we are having cordially within us? Eh? What has that got to do? Everything. So I have made a mistake by even discussing things with you. Yes, it's a big mistake. Oh, well, I'm sorry. It is a big mistake. Sorry, Luke. You made sorry. a mistake discussing it with me. Did I beg you to discuss it with me? I won't discuss it. Eh? Did I beg you to tell me? Why you know me? Leave me alone now. Look, get what it. It's not a matter of why you know me. All the problems you are bringing should be on your head. Don't bring more problems into this family. We have enough already. And whatever you do, make sure you don't die. Look at me. I am very, very young, full of life. I cannot be a widow at this age. And my son is still too small to be fatherless. So whatever you do, make sure you stay alive. Just try not to die. Don't, don't try it. Rubbish. You in a job prosperity. They'll be deceiving you up and down. And it's a smart man like you. Allow yourself to be deceived. Rubbish. Oh, no. Hi, um, brothers, Chris. You have had this kind of circumstance in your family before Friday's day, right? Yes, Pastor. We lost the only daughter three years ago. Friday's case is the second untimely death in the family. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You see, Brother Chris, the untimely death in your family is as a result of evil pronouncement made by an evil witch against your family. You know what? The good news is that, Brother Chris, the good Lord has promised to reverse every evil curse Thank you, Jesus. and put their plots to shame. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, but, Brother Chris, I need you to come and see me here on Sunday after service. We need to start making plans on how we go to your village for deliverance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Pastor. It's all right. Everything that's possible to be All right. Let, let's Thank pray. You. Thank you. Let's pray. In Jesus. Victory, victory is mine No matter what comes my way Victory is mine Victory, victory is mine No matter what comes my way Victory is mine This battle, I will win Yes. Has the husband come today? No, doctor, but he will be here in the afternoon. Please tell him to come and see me in my office when he comes. Okay, doctor. Auntie, are you sure your husband will come in the afternoon? Yes, I'm very sure. He told me in the morning that he will be here this afternoon. I'm really worried. Why not go and see the doctor to find out what and why he wants to see your husband? I would want him to see him himself. Let him see. Rita, please get well soon. I'm so worried, Auntie. Mm -hmm. But let's just wait for her to hear what the doctor has to say. Help, oh, Rita, why are you? <gasps> please get well soon, okay? Oh, Auntie, I'm sorry. Oh, that was the result of the test. It holds no hope for her. Doctor, no hope for my daughter? Doctor, can't you do something? Can't you do something to help her? Hey, doctor, I am not doubting the result of the test. Please, doctor. My daughter. Mr. Jonathan, there's nothing I can promise at this stage. The only thing that can be is me. Hello? Yeah, Mr. Robinson. Oh. She has been discharged. Oh. That's good, that's good. Please, 
always remind her to be taking her medication and also come for checkup. Okay, okay, see you. Doctor, was that Mr. Robinson whose daughter has a similar case with mine? Yes. That was his daughter and he was, she was just discharged. But doctor, why is my daughter's case exceptional? Why is it so hard to treat her? Mr. Jonathan, everybody in this thing is not the same. See, the thing I can advise at this stage is first one, let's try your daughter out for more treatment. Who knows? No matter what comes my way, victory is mine. So Victory, victory is mine. No matter what this, comes to this victory is mine. My doctor, no help from the doctor. Tuesday. Good afternoon, madam. Afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Um, please, uh, I want to see you later. No problem. Yes, sir. Thank you. Madam, her condition is very bad. You need to see a man of God. I mean, my pastor. His name is Pastor Raphael. Pastor Raphael? Yes. I have heard so much about him. Yeah, and he's going to pray with uh, Friday's family on Friday at number two church road. Who is Friday? Victory, victory is mine. No matter what comes my way, victory is mine. My daughter is dying before my eyes. And I cannot offer any help. No matter what comes my way, victory is mine. If giving her a befitting burial is all I can offer, I might as well do it. But it's improper. What? Since I know what will become very soon, I might as well stay on the barrier at right point. Yes, it's important to do it. I'm worried about your cheerful disposition presently. You no longer feel happy or socialize with people around. What is it that troubles your heart that you don't want to discuss with anyone, including me, your wife? Helen, nothing is troubling my heart. I'm okay. I, I just, I just want to be alone, period. I don't think wanting to be alone is the reason for this uncommon behavior. Perhaps our daughter's case might be. Or is there something the doctor told you that you don't want to discuss with me? Please, please, leave our daughter's sickness out of this. I've told you I am okay. Or is it a crime for somebody to be alone? Okay, fine. I've accepted you, okay. But I just want to tell you that I will be taking Rita to a man of God who they said is very powerful in the healing ministry tomorrow Friday. I do not consent to that. Yes. If you are going to take my daughter anywhere, it will be on Sunday, not on Friday. I will not wait till Sunday. My daughter was in pain throughout last night and her case is worsening. I will take her to the man of God. I will. You will not take her anywhere until she has finished taking her drugs. And that is the final push stop. And I will not wait until she finished taking her drugs. 
Oh, take her to the man of God. I will not wait till Sunday. Since we got married, I have never countered your word. But on this, I will take her to the man of God. I can't watch my daughter die. I will listen to you. To the man of God. To the man of God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Right now, I begin to reverse every evil declaration. Every pronouncement against this household. By any witch doctor. By any juju priest. I command it to come to naught. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I command it to bow. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Victory. Victory is mine. I begin to rededicate this last road right now. I rededicate this compound for fruitfulness, for most success, in the mighty name of Jesus. There shall be no lost. There shall be no lost. There shall be no lost. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can someone shout hallelujah? Hallelujah. 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 Man of God, somebody should help me. Man of God. You're a liar. You have been exposed and you have lost the battle. You have no right to touch any child of God. This one is the daughter of Zion. The I am that I am. The mighty man in battle. The invincible God. You have no right. You have lost this battle right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus, I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God, Amen. I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God, glory be to Jesus, I have seen, seen the downfall of Satan. Glory be to God, Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the life of your daughter Rita lying here in your presence. Almighty God, I thank you because I know our life is in your hands. Our life is not in the hands of any demon spirit. Lord, you said in your scripture, in the book of Jeremiah chapter 32 verse 27, Lord, you said, for I am the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Lord, indeed, there is nothing too hard for you. Lord, I know that your daughter's case, Rita, is not going to be different. I know you can handle her case. Therefore, ancient of days, I stand on the authority right now. I begin to destroy. I command every demon that is leading a spirit into the land of death. I command them to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. I command them to be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. You demon attacking the slime, I command you to get out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus! Out in the name of Jesus! You want to do business in this world? I command you to leave her. Out in the name of Jesus! 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 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I have seen, seen without fall of Satan. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. I have seen, seen without fall of Satan. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Jesus is close. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. No matter what comes my way. I tell you something, believe it. I told you you will experience steady growth. Oh, you did, sir. Which you will did. come in stages. You did. From one level to another level. Has it not happened? <laughs> it's happening, sir. It's happening. Like, I have seen and I believed, sir. Like, everything is just happening the way you said. One thing God has given me is that when I say a thing, it comes to pass. Yes. It's just a time. True, true, true. You know, that. and I have the gift to tell you that on this particular day, this shall come to pass. It comes to pass. Yes, sir. Have you been uh, selling stickers in your church? Oh, yes. Yes, I have. And you know what, Pastor? The thing is selling massively. Like, I'm even making more money than I used to. And just that um, the area where I really need your assistance right now is um, is the area of healing. So, because, uh, <laughs> you know, I want to start my own healing service next month. And I want you to teach me, I mean, just guide me how to impact healing on the sixer. Don't no worry. It's done. Just receive it. <laughs> I'll teach you the things you need to do. And, um... David, what is it? He's an awesome dude. He's requesting for more money. Didn't you give me the 20000 already? I did, sir. But he's insisting that the money remains 5000 now. Call him for me. So, um, don't worry. As your spiritual father, I have many things to teach you. Just be ready to learn. Make yourself available. I'm always available, sir. What's on the You're asking for extra 5000 for what? Yes, sir. It's for the transportation and expense I'm going to bring that woman from Amanda. Okay, okay, okay. Um, give him 5000 extra. Um, Sandro, sit down. Here is uh, Pastor Benjamin, a uh, very good friend of mine. He runs his own ministry. Hmm? He's a general overseer like me. Uh, he wants to start the healing ministry for his church. And I know this is uh, the way God works by design, that you're here and he's here. He will do a lot of work for you. Osondo is a trusted ally. Oh. Uh, he will provide all the ingredients you need for the soup. Oh, sorry. Nice to meet you, sir. My uh, pleasure. You'll find him very, very uh, rewarding and engaging. Uh, Osondo, before I forget, the wheelchair boy you brought did not play his role at all. I felt bad. I felt bad. So, in what area did he not perform well? And that boy, I don't know what is wrong with him. Before I could say, I command you in the name of Jesus, rise, he already dropped out of the wheelchair. Sir. I mean, where is it ever done? That's, that's not nice. What looks so fake? I'm, I'm sorry. It's a mistake. He complained something like that to me. He does not normally make mistakes like that. I'm sorry. I hope it doesn't happen again because uh, it was too, too fake. Sir, I didn't know if you were aware that Pastor Rab is on the news again. News on the again for what? He said he prayed for a dead girl and she woke up. <laughs> what type of romance is that? 
Look, it's good you're here. Arrange for us somebody who can keep his breath for 10 minutes. When we start, we pronounce the person dead. Uh, I, and I, then we'll carry the person in, or, or wake the person up after 10 minutes. He will just rise and the miracle is done. Is it? He, he thinks it's only him that can do that. Yeah, mm. Of course, I can also get you somebody that can hold his breath for 30 minutes. That's it now. The minutes are started. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Let me escort him, sir. Okay. Yeah, so they will soon get us uh, something to drink. I mean, it is really amazing. You know, I can't find anything wrong again with your kids. The test showed there's no trace of infection. What happened? Why do you have Mary's daughter in life? Right. Doctor, her life today is a testimony. God healed her from the cold hand of death. And she's completely healed. Mm -hmm. Please explain that to me. She actually died as her medical reports had predicted. But a man of God prayed for her and revived her life, and she's completely healed. I thank God for her life. <laughs> wow. You mean two of your kidneys have transformed into brand new ones? As if you had gone for kidney transplant. <laughs> So and there's no medical explanation to that. It was an act of God. This alone has proven to me that God can heal any lost soul. Yes. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Doctor, are you saying that my daughter's kidneys have no problem anymore? Absolutely not. She's healed. She's healed. Ice cream. No matter what comes my way, victory is mine. You know, I never believed that someone can die and be restored back to life and heal miraculously. Until I seen it with my naked eyes. <laughs> God is a wonderful God. Right. The Bible said that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Those that does not believe in His power, mm. they don't know who He is. That's true. Then. He's a great man. My life is a living testimony of His great healing power. Mm. You know that with Jesus, no hope is lost, even at the eleventh hour. I'm for Jesus forever. We are forever for Jesus. <laughs> this family is forever for Jesus. Bye. Bye.
Hey, hey, hey! Quit with that! America! Who sent you to clear this? No, but Martin sent you. Martin? Yes. Martin sent you to clear another man's farmland? Before I close my eyes! Before I close my eyes! Let it be that you have vanished from here! What will you vanish from? Martin! 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 Martin, Martin, how was the city? city is fine. Business is going well and I thank God there's no problem. Was it just that you came back? Somebody told me he saw you yesterday. Hey, I came in two days ago uh, and uh, planned to see you yesterday. Uh, but fortunately, a friend of mine was in my house and stayed longer than expected. So I have to reschedule my meeting you today until I, you sent a message that you want to see me. Yes, mm. yes. I saw an unfamiliar sight yesterday on my family along the Yago Road. I saw Emelike clearing the land and on inquiry. I was told you were the one that asked him to do the work. That was why I sent for you. To know why we would do that without my consent. Anyway, I was the one that sent him to clear the land. I have an intention to farm on that land this year. But I'm surprised. I, I don't understand why you are no, saying no, the no, land belongs no, no, to you. No, 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 no. You cannot do anything on that land without my permission. <laughs> Uncle, I hope you're not pulling my legs because I know you so well. Yeah. The land belongs to me. Martin, don't lay a false claim to that land. It does not belong to you. Ha. Oh. Ha. <laughs> Uncle, I don't understand all this. I thought we have settled our differences and pledged that we should be our brother's king. Not when you are encroaching on my land. I cannot watch you do that. Hey, hey, hey. This is unbelievable. It is really unbelievable. Yeah. Anyway, you know that that land was owned by my late father. He farmed on that land all through his lifetime. And according to culture, I am I'm supposed to inherit the land. So the land is mine. <laughs> but uh, you inherited another man's property from your father. Yeah? That your father was allowed to farm on that land does not give him the right of ownership. Do not start a fight you cannot win. But uh, that land belongs to me. Stay away. Stay clear. Stay away from that land. A word is enough for the wise. Are you listening? Well, in as much as I am standing by the truth, hmm? that land is mine. And I can never be intimidated or be scared by your threats. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not longer a boy. I knew what my father told me, Uncle. It's all right. It's all right, Martin. Not until I see anybody on that land again. Not until I see anybody on that land again. Then, when that happens, when that happens, we will know who is on the side of the truth. Now, Martin, leave my house. See my boy. To put that, to put that behind ya, put it together. Why is he acting in such a manner that I'm yet to understand? If someone should tell me that he will confront me and tell me all manner of rubbish, do you know I won't believe it? 
Well, I am not surprised. <laughs> I have always known that your uncle is not a good person. He has an evil mind. Forget the pretense. I knew that one day his true nature will come out. And that's exactly what has just happened. Hmm. I know. I won't have related to him so closely. Not talk of sharing opinions with him. Hmm. But I told you. My love, I told you. That's why I was telling you to be careful. To be careful. But oh, you doubted me. He said, uh, he's my blood. He cannot harm me. Uh, my uncle. This, that. I've always known. See, um, see, it isn't I did that out of ignorance. But seriously speaking, I begin to think he has a hand to my problems. You are still thinking. It's obvious. <laughs> yeah. It is obvious that your uncle is an evil man. Listen, I suggest you stop talking to him. Stop relating to him. Stop going close to him. In fact, don't ask him about the land. Rather, take the issue to the elders of the community. Yes, report to the elders of the community. That's what you should do. Okay. Yes. Okay. You're right. In that case, I have to travel to the village by the weekend so that I can report the matter to them. Exactly. That's what you should do. Right. Sir Conley, my love. You know what I say. Family that prays together stays together. I would want us to worship in the same church. So I would appreciate it if you can, I mean, come back to our church so that we can always pray together. We will have similar understanding of prayers and pray together. Please. Isn't it? That is a different discussion. We're not done with this one, and you're bringing another discussion in our midst. Why don't we finish with this one? Then we cannot sit down and decide worshiping at the same place. It's okay. It's okay, Nadine. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. My dear, thanks for coming. It's okay, Daddy. <laughs> and thanks again for your numerous assistance to our daughter. It's okay, sir. Okay, you're so caring. <laughs> We're so grateful. You know, Rita, your daughter is my personal person, so I'll do everything for her. Oh. I mean, anything. <laughs> I would have loved you to stay so that we can discuss more. But as a matter of fact, oops, time is up. We're going to see the pastor. Oh, I totally understand with you, Daddy. Right. It's okay, no problems. I'll create time to come some other day. Yes, Please do. We shall be pleased to have you in our midst again. It's okay, ma'am. <laughs> it's okay, ma'am. I will do just that. We appreciate that. All right. Arita. Yes, sir. Is everything in the vehicle? Yes, sir. Okay. Helen. Yes. Shall we? Yes, go. Um, right. Don't be sick again. I want to sit down. Oh. Oh. All right, oh. darling. Victory. Victory is mine. No matter what comes my way, victory is mine. Victory, victory is mine. No matter what comes my way, victory is mine. This battle, I'll win it. Cause the Lord is by my side, I'll win it. This battle, I yes, it is God who did it. He is a miraculous God. We give him all the praise. Um, sir, I've not met you before. It seems like you're the father of the family. Yes, Pastor. 
I'm the head of the family. My name's uh, Jonathan Ndubisi. My wife, Helen. And our daughter, Rita. Oh, that's great, sir. You're welcome, ma. Um, so what can I do for you? <clears throat> Pastor, we came to show appreciation for the miraculous healing of our daughter. It is a thing of a joy that our daughter got completely healed after the encounter. Let's go. And today, she's a living testimony. Let's go. Um, Pastor came to say thank you with this pack of malt over here. And uh, a check of 200,000 Naira with a goat sitting outside. Rather, just take them to your church. Use it as a thanksgiving to God who healed her. He alone deserves all the glory. Sir, these are yours. We will still go to the church and give thanksgiving. Yes, Please, accept it from our heart. Madam, I'm very sorry. I cannot accept this gift from you. Doing this will mean me taking the place of the Holy Spirit. You see, ordinarily I accept gifts from people, but not as a result of the healings that took place as a result of prayers offered. I'm very sorry. Please. Sorry, Pastor. It's okay, sir. Um, we thank you. Yes, sir. Yes. We have concluded the investigation on the matter you brought to us by you and the Matis. That is why we invited both of you here to hear our verdict. Um, Mazi, you not here? Um, please listen to our verdict as I read it out to you having been instructed to do so by my colleagues. <clears throat> uh, we, the elders of Umi Kem, having thoroughly investigated the matter brought to us by Mazi Judike Ufondu and the Martin Wese Ufondu, and having felt satisfied with the evidences and testimonies given on the matter during our investigation and inquiry, hereby make the following pronouncement. <clears throat> One, that there is actually a land dispute between Mazi Jidike and Martin. Two, that Mazi GDK actually owns a farmland situated several years away along the Yago Road. Three, that our brother Martin equally inherited a farmland from his own father, Weze Ufondo, which also situated several years away along Iago Road. Number four, that each of these our kinsmen, Mazi Jidike and Martins, presently own a farmland situated several years away along Iago Road. However, it further established and proved beyond reasonable doubt that the disputed land which is boundary 
with whom when ancestral land belongs to Martin. While the land is situated at the other side of the road, on the way to the stream belongs to Mazi GDK. Our verdict, therefore, <clears throat> is that the disputed land belongs to our brother Martin. Oh. And that Mazi GDK should please stay clear of the land. And allow peace to reign. Thank you, God bless you. Ah, you yes. Oh, God. yes, yes, thank you. I wouldn't want to serve at all of you. Yes, yeah? yes. I wouldn't say. It. I wouldn't say it. Yeah. I have heard you. I know. Okay, then even that. I wouldn't have worried. I don't come in full of you. I don't come in full of you. Darling, you're not bad. You don't look water. Thank you. Are you walking out on us? Uh, leave him, let him go. Let him go. So, were you able to meet with the elders? Mm -hmm. I did. I met with them. So, what was their judgment? The judgment was to our favor. <gasps> Are you serious? <laughs> yes, they said by the investigation carried out that I'm the rightful owner of the land. Oh! <laughs> My goodness. Honestly. So there are still <clears throat> truthful elders in our community. Uh -uh. You should trust where you married from. <laughs> <laughs> you are so loyal oh. and faithful. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, my love. Mm. <laughs> so tell me, mm. what was the reaction of your uncle? Mm. That one. They said the judgment was by us. Mm. He stood up and walked out on them angrily. <laughs> Without respect. <laughs> Very stubborn man. Ah, I expected that. <laughs> My love. Oh. This is to tell you that the battle is not over. This is a time for you to pray. Pray like you have never prayed before. And then about what I can achieve you cannot hold the lion with your bare hands. Ne, Mazi EJDK cannot do anything. Ha! Who is it that someone should be afraid of? <laughs> hey, my love, it's not a matter of who is he. That your uncle is heartless. Yes, yeah. a heartless man that chased his wife out of his house. That is not living with any of his children. You know, never ask him who is he. Hey, hey, that man can go to any length to harm you. So he said, who is he? Um, okay, you're right. You're right. Well, I will do something about it and inform my pastor about the matter as well. Mm. Then I'll buy this uh, recorded prayer on warfare so that I can be playing it every midnight. You want to go? Don't worry yourself. Rotaram, Rotaram, this is no time to be buying recorded prayer welfare, informing your pastor. Well, what is that? Mm -mm. When you have your mouth, you have your knee, knee down and pray. You need to pray yourself out. We need to pray ourselves out. Even the Bible said it. Communicate to God in prayer. Say what you want with your mouth. We don't need already made prayers. We can pray ourselves out. Well, well, it's okay. It's okay. But you should also understand that God has made this world so sweet for us, including what we're drinking. We don't need to suffer ourselves. To me, it's not about who do the who pray the prayer. It's about the prayer answer. Eh? <laughs> so let us enjoy our meal. Eh? That reminds me in my kitchen. Please check the food knife. It's done. I'm very hungry. You know this has opened my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'll be right back. Okay, man. Hey, mm. I think I need to buy this drink again. I am so happy. <laughs> uh -uh. Uh -uh. I am proud of those elders. He induced the elders with money. None of them spoke the truth. They all conspired. 
and passed a judgment against me, their fellow elder. That means they all supported Martin. Yes. None of them. None of them was on my side. They all took sides with him. That is a calculated conspiracy. Now, what do you want from the gods? You know, the last time I requested to tighten up all the loose end in the work you did for me. But I'm afraid you wouldn't remember to do it well. No! I did it perfectly well. All we did was merely to teach him a lesson. For that was what you requested. I can understand. I can understand. But this time, I want him to have a more devastating experience than he had before. I want him to suffer more. Yes, to suffer. Hey! The gods of our ancestors, the wise and great ones, your son has come to seek for redress. Speak to me. What shall I do? Speak, great one. I am listening. Yes. AGDK, the coast is clear. The gods have accepted your request. And you have to be specific on what you want. Come up and see. This one was a prosperous businessman. But today, he is a vulcanizer. And this one was a successful civil servant. But today, he roams the streets mad. Now sit down. There are other cases like this you have just witnessed. So, be specific. What do you want? He is still making noise and has not learned any lesson from his past. This time, this time, I want him to see more calamity that will see the end of his business career. I want him to go back to that bank. Uh, and after the experience, if he insists on retaining the land, the ownership of the land, eh, let him not live to inherit it. Let him not live to inherit it. Martin, come on again there. Let him not live. Can you there? It shall be done. He deliberately stepped on the trunk of a viper and he can never escape the fangs of the reptile. Bring to the shrine tomorrow one of his pictures a ball of sand from the river bank a cock and a hen's egg what you have requested will be done and done accordingly you may leave go tested and tested go Martin, I ain't never know. Oh, to the game, Lord of Wise. Nakalizin and Kitioi. As a dog wise. 
Ana kalizi na kiti. Ejoba. Onya. I am confused. I am torn between two options of going ahead with the plan or solving it. My spirit is having a strong desire of possessing that land, but I lack the will to encourage it. The truth is that I am not even too sure of my claim about it, the disputed land. I, I would have loved to talk out. I would have loved to back out, but for those greedy elders who did not treat me fairly with their judgment, they really insulted me. They made me look like a fool. No. No. If any man were Be careful you keep your heart to Oh no 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 Oh be mad at your car Oh be mad at your car Oh be mad at your car Martin wants you for me, Martin. Martin wants you for me, Martin. Give up, Kukalan. I Martin wants you for me, Martin. Give up, my neighbor. I'm a panel will find an eye. Taneke Yamia. Taneke Yamano will find an eye. Martin. Martin wants you for me. This sand. This sand represents your wealth and prosperity. This sand represents your wealth and prosperity. And as I am throwing away this sand, where it can never be gathered together again, where it can never be gathered together again, so shall your wealth, your prosperity, be thrown away where they shall never come back. They shall never be gathered in life. It's an empty boy. This basket is empty. Martin wants it. As this basket is empty, so shall your income, your source of wealth, your fortune, everything good that comes in will be empty. 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 Forever. <laughs> Master, Master, Papa is in the shop. Tortoise. Wow, come on, let me show you. Tortoise. Master. See, see, Tortoise. Look at us. Tortoise, this is strange. How did it enter here? Do I know? Eh? Are you sure your boys remember to close the shop at the end of business yesterday? What are you talking about? I was the one that locked up the shop yesterday. And I came this morning and I met that some shop locked up. I don't understand how this, this happened. You see, Martins, I suggest you don't touch it or remove it. Look for a man of God. I'll help you do that. No, I'll go and see my pastor. I have to go with my pastor. Hey, 
Hey, what's my goods? The daughters? Yes. The daughters? Are you still there? The devil is alive. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. A woman is behind this. Yes. A woman? A woman you had some quarrel some time ago. Hey. No. Pastor, I can't remember having any quarrel with the woman. Think, 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 think. Except what happened in my school days, years back, when we had a quarrel with our landlady. Yes, yes. What the Lord revealed to me, that complacent woman. Yes, 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 spirit. Holy Spirit, I hear you, I hear you. She still bears grudges against you and she wants to destroy her business. Hey. Yes. She won't. So, so this woman, so this woman is the source of my problem. All this while, I never knew. Hey, Pastor Pico, what do I do? Hey, look at the island. It's only man that can lie. Hey, God does not lie, the spirit. You will have your peace. Amen. And enemies shall be put to shame. Amen. There's nothing to worry about. We will destroy this in the spirit. Fire! Uh, Pastor Benson! Amen. Pastor Benson! Have you been paying your tithe regularly? Yes, yes, no. I've been paying my tithe every month. No. The tithe is not like a salary you pay every month. It has to be regularly. That way you have a contract with God and God will fight for you. You must learn to sow seeds to God. That's like a contract between you and God. Don't leave your flanks open. Okay, sir. You will go with him to the shop okay, sir. and bring the tortoises he saw. Okay. Whether a human being, woman, or a fish, bring the tortoise here. Right. Yeah, this tortoise is for Ike Ike. Amen. Hey, or I could do something. Or I could do something. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Everywhere. We practically ran south. You were sure was. We couldn't see anything. Are you sure it was a tortoise? <gasps> Pastor, it was a tortoise now. It was a tortoise. I, even my neighbors witnessed it. They saw it. Don't worry yourself. Don't worry yourself. I will come to your shop myself. Then this tortoise, whether a male or a female, human being or whatever, that man is a fire. But, uh, I'll go to Abuja and come back and then come to your shop. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Don't entertain any fear. I'll wait for you. Don't entertain any fear. Okay, sir. Okay? Mm. Good. Um, sir, so, you know, I, I told him he, he should buy one bottle of olive oil. It's needed too. Yes, sir. I will do it. Yes. I'll do it. Just buy the oil. Okay, sir. We'll anoint the whole place and um, the price that Jesus paid will be paid in your shop. Amen. Go home and rest. Oh. Don't lose talk. Don't lose sleep. Oh, yeah, thank you very much. They, they want to slow down your business. They want your business to crawl. They want to delay what the Lord has in store for you. But we are saved before them. God forbid. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll bring my seat. Yeah, Pastor. Pastor, stay back. Let's discuss. Um, But it is because you don't consider me my opinion in this house. That is why you 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 didn't listen to me when I told you not to not to worship with that pastor. Now look at yourself. Look at yourself. Look at you, Martins. Take a very good look at yourself. Hmm. Biko. Biko. I, I am not ready for this, your lashing of your tongue this evening. Hmm. Let me have my, uh, my peace. peace. Let me have the moment of peace, Biko. Which peace? Eh? Peace or whatever. You have not heard that there is no 
peace for the wicked. No peace for you. There is no peace for you. Because you brought this upon yourself. Yes. Look at you. You allow the man like you to brainwash you. If I let me. Your pastor came back from his journey and heard that your shop mysteriously caught fire that burnt everything. What did he do? Martins, what did your pastor say? He told you to sow another seed. And you foolishly and stupidly accepted. He fell on Are you not ashamed of yourself? What is all this is in there? Anyway, you can say all, all what you want to say. I'm, I'm all yes. I'm listening. Why would you, you collected the money? Why would you listen? It was another option. Why would you listen? Eh? I am ashamed of you. So if I have not caught you taking this money, the money that somebody kept in my possession, you would have taken it to your pastor to sow a seed. Hey! What's this? What's this seed all about? Hey! What is all this seed all about? Am I the only person who has sown seed in this in, in that church? Eh? That I cannot have peace in my own house. In my position. Go there and see to yourself how other people are sowing seeds. They are sowing seeds yet they have peace of mind. Some people are even sowing generators, some are refrigerators, some are even cars. Eh? But my own, I will not have peace of mind. Please. Please, as in there, be cool. Let me have my peace, Biko. I'm just wondering if this is still the husband I got married to. Biko, illegi fele golemish. Eh? You are about to say that people are sowing seed with their generators, with their cars, with everything. Eh? Look at what you're saying. Are you not ashamed that our only son is not going to school because of school fees? You know, never have seen people are sowing seed with generators, with cars. You should be ashamed of yourself. Who is that? Oh, Roland. Come in. Come in. Roland, how are you? Have a seat. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you. And how is your wife? She's fine. Ah, actually, she told me what happened. So I said I should come and see you and your husband. See, uh, Martins, you see, in every situation, you have to take heart. Eh? Take heart and be strong. Don't allow this unfortunate incident to weigh you down. Just be strong. Everything is going to be okay. Um, I, I, I'll have to excuse myself. I was doing something upstairs. It's okay, as you please. Excuse me. Take care. I came out this morning and my wife broke the news to me. But, Martins, what I don't understand is, she said only your shop got burnt. That the fire did not spread to other shops. How come? How did it happen? It's, it's quite strange. Eh? And it's not up to one week when the tortoise appeared and disappeared in my shop. Jesus. That this is what happened. Eh? <laughs> no, no. This is incredible. It's unbelievable. But um, have you reported the case to the police? Mm. They said uh, it's under investigation. I couldn't buy them. Now, what will I offer you? I mean, let me get some. No, no, no. I'm fine. I, because of the, the news, I just say, let me come and see you. And... Mistress called me concerning the school fees. Not to worry, I'll do everything possible to send you back to school, okay? Did you eat your lunch? All right, I prepared something for you.
is in there? What is happening? Why are you not sleeping? I'm worried. Ha. Worried what? Worried about what? Honey, I think we should start the three-day fasting and prayer that uh, Pastor Ralph gave us. Look, 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 isn't it? See, I don't know why you're worried about all this. Eh? I have informed my pastor and he's praying about it. And he's assured me that nothing evil will, will, go, will, will befall us. He has taken care of that one. Do you think what is happening to us is ordinary? Because I don't think so. I think there's an evil manipulation somewhere. No, 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 don't go there. Ah, don't go there. These are natural occurrences. That happens once in a while. We can still overcome. Natural occurrences? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by natural occurrences? You were awarded a contract by the state government. Just when you were about executing the contract, it was terminated. Mm. Our son's mistress called me on the phone. In fact, they sent our son Kenneth out of school because of school fees. It's a natural occurrence. There's nothing natural about this. You nothing. Worry, but you worry too much. Eh? You worry too much. Eh? Take a look at it. Is it only one contract? that I have. No. It's not a do or die affair. The one that is not meant for me can go. There are still other contracts that have not been terminated yet. So I'm hoping that that one will get to me. And talk about my our son's school. I will go and talk to the proprietors in a language that she will understand. I'm hopefully that she will, she will give me more time. Mm. Uh, you think so? Mm-hmm. I'm hopeful. Man, just, just lie down. Man. Just lie down. Forget about all these things. Uh, it's okay. I'll get the chamber. It'll be fine. Mm? My pastor is praying. And I'm seeing enough seats. Mm? Forgot to answer my prayer. Because it didn't have enough. I don't understand what is happening to me these days. These recent times, I've been going through a lot of problems. From one problem to another. Eh? I can no longer take care of my family. And the worst of it all is the contract I got from the government. Was terminated at the point of when I want to start work. Hi! Hi! And what could be the cause of all this? I don't know. Huh? Oh. And I don't want to believe that somebody's hand is in this. Because if I do, it will serve as a distraction. Yes, you are right. It will be a distraction and quite inappropriate to think that way. Everyone has his or her own problem, including myself. Oh, yeah. I don't think that someone will leave his own problem and begin to dream about how to bring another man down. See, that's exactly what I told my wife. But she sees differently. She's still on the opinion that somebody's hand is in this. <laughs> She's a woman. Hmm? You can't expect her to see things the way you do. Yeah? There are certain things women don't understand. Yeah? And there are issues. There are issues that are discussed by men and women shouldn't get involved. That is even why I came to you, Uncle. Eh? Because I've even changed my place of worship. Still, no improvement. Mm. Eh? I'm so confused, I don't even know what next step to take. Oh. Sir, Martin. Sir. I think I have a role to play now that you have informed me. 
I am going to step into the matter. Believe you me, there must be a positive change. Just be as you might. Do not be perturbed about everything, for everything must be all right. Thank you very much, Abu. Thank you. Ah! Uh -uh. oh. No, I'm not. No. Odogu, our people say that when you praise a man for what he has done, he will have the strength to do more. That is why I'm here. This is your color for speaking the minds of the gods. I quite appreciate that. You have done well. Drop it there. Oh. <laughs> Listen, the whole thing is working out perfectly well that he is feeling the heat. Only a feel here. Yes, he was so open. He came to my house yesterday and confessed how things were generally not working well for him. He even told me that a government contract he won was terminated at the point of receiving payments to execute it. <laughs> but I told you, <laughs> I told you that he will be humble and he will never make noise again. You told me, you told me, and everything is happening the way you said it. Yes. But if you ask me, if you ask me, I will tell you, I am not yet satisfied. I am not. Then tell me, what else do you want from the gods? More hardship. More hardship. So much so that he, he will gnash his teeth. Okay, just say, well, well, come on, let's say, well, well, come on, come on, come on, Yes, I want you to tighten up every loose end there. Eh, every, you know, really don't walk oh, so that he will feed the heat much, much more. Go water. Martin. Martin. Muk Muki Malaka. Oh, why didn't ever go? Muki Malili Martin. Why didn't they ever go? I will do exactly as you requested. Bet on it. More nashim things. Yes, sir. I call it inform you that um, in this ministry we take an inventory of the record of financial commitment of each member. And I have looked at the records. You are doing well. But I know you can do better. Amen. So that the Lord will also remember you and do better for you. Yes, sir. Amen, sir. I, sir, thank you very much. I actually know the importance of giving. I know whatever you give to God, He gives back to you in double. I know that. I'm happy you know that. Yes, sir. You see, those who sow bountifully will reap bountifully. And we all want to go to the better category and upper level. But you need to do certain sacrifices. And that's where you sow a seed that provokes God and you move to that level. <laughs> well done, sir. Thank you very much, sir. I, I actually am aspiring to get to that level, sir. Uh, but, you know, um, I'm, I'm just trying to bounce back. Yeah, things are not really connecting well. But as soon as things get better, I will, I will definitely prove myself, sir. There's also one secret. I want to teach you about giving. Don't wait till you have cash in your hands. You can also sell something that is a treasure to you and sow it as a seed. And then you will see God at work. God needs to be provoked to do things for you, for you to go to that upper level. Ooh. 
Okay. A brother in this church once told me that he sold his uh, motorcycle and gave the proceeds to the church and later got a better blessing. That's it. Okay. So you can imagine what it is yes. if you sell your car. Okay. Uh, that means God will say, if my son could trade in his car for my ministry to go to the next level, you have provoked God and God will do us. God will embarrass you with blessings. Amen. Okay, sir. I I think I will look at my household and look at what I can sell. At least only for God, God, not for me. Father, let me pray for you. Our God and our Father, your son is before you. Where is our refrigerator? I can't find it anywhere in the house. The refrigerator is no longer around in the house. I, I don't understand. What do you mean by that? Where is it then? I saw it as a seed to the church. <laughs> this is a joke, right? You are joking. Martins. This is a joke. Isn't it? There's something big I'm expecting from God. So I decided to sow that as a seed so that my person will come on time. Martins. Martins, the Pupagala. Wait. What is the meaning of this? Martins. Martins, you did what? You sold the only refrigerator we have in this house as seed to your church. Eh? Eh? Isn't it? That refrigerator is my property. I bought it with my money. And so what? So I am your wife. I am your to do whatsoever I want to do with my property. Okay? Please allow me to throw out the line of giving so I can expect what I'm, I, 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 I deserve. I told you I'm going to replace it with another one. The latest model. Please. You want to follow the line of giving. You have finally lost it. Martin, if you go, that your so-called pastor has brainwashed you. Yes! Can't you see that he's, he's, he's wrecking more havoc in this house? He's worsening our condition. He wants to, 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 to turn you into a useless, God-forsaken man. How dare you talk to that man when you such a man? Are you insane? You're not poor! I sow a seed as to what I am respecting. And you're here ranting. Look, allow me to throw this line of giving. Please! It's a mystery. And let no one hear this. Do you hear me? So that my blessing will not be hindered. Have come out, Hamde. Biko. Just let me be. It is my house. Okay. My dear. Matter has compelled me to look for someone that worships in that church so that I can get information. I need to know what is really going on in that church, how they sow their seats and cash donations. Then I remember that you worshipped there. Yes, you were worshipping there before. Yes. Please, my sister. That is why I invited you here. I want you to tell me what is really going on in that church. Please help me. My dear, you know it's been long I stopped worshipping there. And it's almost a year now. I know. Linda, I equally know that you have retentive memory. Yes, you must remember one or two. Please, what is going on? What is happening? Eh? Because I've tried asking my husband. <laughs> he won't even talk to me. 
He will not say anything about their church. Nothing. <laughs> so my sister, what is it? Is it that they ask their, their worshippers to sow seeds and cash donations at every service? I don't understand. Karen, my dear sister, they do exactly that. Yes. I have to be honest with you. I mean, that was the reason I stopped going to that church at first. And then I stopped going to that church finally last year. Everyone who worships there have to spend money for seed, in the name of sowing seed, and all that. And you know the worst thing about it is that you won't even notice it until your pocket go completely empty, like until they soak you dry. That is when you realize yourself. That is what they do there. That confirms it. <laughs> they have soaked my husband dry. In fact, they have emptied. In fact, if my husband sees a way to carry me like this to that church and sow me a seed, he will do exactly that. God forbid. In fact, I won't, I won't even be surprised the day they will come to this house and tell me to vacate the house that my husband has sold this house as seed. I will not be surprised. My day won't get to that. Any little money he sees, he will take it to the church. <laughs> Any little money he will take it to the church. Anything he sees, even my own money, any anything money, anywhere, he will take it to that church. He does not care about me. He does not care about our son. He does not care about some paid bills. He does not care about our son's uh, school fees. <laughs> Nothing. He's just concerned about sowing seed and cash donation to his church. That's all. My dear, I am not surprised at all because I worship there. I was there. So I know everything that is going on there. But you know what you do? My dear, you have to fight. Yes. Whatever you can do, you have to fight and bring your husband out of that place they call church. That is not a church. You have to fight, but no physical fight though. You need to pray. If you don't know how to pray before, hmm, you have to start to pray. You have to learn how to pray. That man called pastor, and what is his name? That pastor, Douglas. That man is a terrible human being. Imagine him telling me to bring money before he could pray for my sick son. Ah. My dear, that is not the church. Oh, that is not church. I don't believe it's ordinary. That man is using something. What is going on? I'm sure that I left the money in my box. Yes. I left it in my box. Could it be that Martin's... No. No. Wait. I kept in my box in the bedroom. In your, in your box? Uh -uh. In my ear. Did you take the money or not? Was I say what you want to do? Which of the boxes? What kind of question is this, Martins? Eh? What kind of question is this? How many boxes do I have in this house? See, I want to know. Since when have you been looking for this money? Hey. Oh. 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 Oh
Martins, Martins, you're, you're getting me angry, oh. You're getting me irritated with this, your useless questions. What is this? Did you take the money or not? If you must know, I borrowed that money to make up and pay our son's school fees. If you're not ashamed that he has not been going to school, I am ashamed and I want him to go back to school. So where is the money? Look, I equally want our son to go back to school. Eh? What is all this now, eh? Can't I have my peace? Can't I rest? What can I do? <sighs> okay, fine. Please, my dear husband. We are not quarreling. I just want you to tell me the truth. Did you take the 100,000 naira? Please. Oh, uh, I took it. But I will refund you when I collect money I'm expecting from my friend. You took it? <coughs> mm. And uh, obviously, you used it to sow seed in your church. No problem. <laughs> it's not a problem at all. I'm not even angry. I just wanted to know. Uh, just wanted to. Just wanted you to tell me the truth. Oh, go back. Go back and sleep. <laughs> go back to sleep. Rest. Oh, victory, victory is mine. No matter what comes my way, victory is mine. Victory. Victory is mine. Are you still with the site engineer's check or did you give it to him yesterday? Uh, yes sir, I'm still with it sir. I didn't close on time yesterday so I couldn't deliver the check so I'm going to need to do it. I want you to go to his office and give it to him and then ask him to let us know if he needs any other thing so that work will not be delayed. Okay sir. Yes, okay. 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 Ask the woman uh, waiting for me to come in. Okay sir. Hello, madam. Good sir. Welcome. Please sit down. Thank you. Uh, what can I do for you? Okay, I came so that uh, you can refund my money. To refund your money? Yes, sir. I don't think I've met you before. <laughs> We've not met, actually. But my husband... Yeah, hey, my husband worships in your church. Who's your husband? My husband is Mr. Martin. <laughs> Martin has stolen all the money in our house and sold to you as he said. I might decide to forget other ones. But you see the last one he gave to you? The 100,000 naira that I borrowed to offset my, my, my son's uh, uh, school expenses. I will not let that one go. Please give it to me so I can go. Thank you, sir. Madam, I... Nobody, and I don't think I can entertain stories like that in my office. Martin is not a child. He's a full-grown man. Whatever seed or offering, gift he gave to the Lord, he was not compelled to do that. He gave willingly. I say, he was compelled to do that. Yes! You compel members of your church to do exactly what you want them to do with your sermon. Yes, I've confirmed from other people. You, you go about defrauding people of their hard earnings. This one will not happen, Olga. Give me the money, let me go. Listen, I respect highly the woman, but I know when I'm being insulted. You have just called me a frost. I don't think to maintain civility, I'll ask you to leave my office. <laughs> I respect men a lot. That is why I came here quietly. So that you can refund my money. And I why he go? Nobody will know that I even came here. 100,000 naira, give it to me, let me go. No, madam. I think when you insult me, I went to school and I will not entertain any manner of insult from you. How dare you walk into my office begin to tell me of a seed that was sown to the Lord? Who does that? Who does what? Is Who it because I've been keeping quiet? Oh, my God, my I will not leave this place until you give me that money. What, what is that? What do you think? I will what? not leave this place Look until you give me my Madam. money. Look at that. Uh, what is that? Madam. Uh, what is it? David, ask this woman if I'm going out. Ask 
Because your man of God to give me my money, my hundred thousand naira. He must give it to me, else I will not leave the seed that was sown to the Lord. I will not leave the which in the vineyard of the Lord. Which vineyard? Which vineyard? Which vineyard? Eh? Did God call you? Yeah, I want to go now. You will come out. Eh? So, so every demon, every demon that comes and says, Pastor, who is he? He's a pastor. Are you aware you are talking to the general overseer of the yes. Which general overseer? Eh? Which general overseer? Okay, let me go. Let me let me go out from here. Look, give me my money. I am not a gentle man of God. You must mind your words before me. I was on the street before God. God. Are you a gentle man of God? No, 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 Give me the money, oh. 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 Give me you will come back when Jesus comes back. Not now, but I'm alive. I will deal with you spiritually and physically. Is it not done anywhere in this world? You come willingly, sow your seed, you are not compelled. You want go to God and take that money. On this table, you cannot get anything. For my life, thank you. For the life of my husband, my son. Thank you for our family. I thank you for everything you're doing for us and this family. Father, we say may all the glory, all the adoration, all the thanksgiving be ascribed unto your holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, King of glory, ever knowing God, the omnipotent to me, science and be present, God, the I am that I Father, Lord, come and take control. I know that what is happening to my husband is not ordinary. Father, Lord, Father, Lord, come and break, come and lose, come and untie every spiritual bondage in his life. Wherever they have, they have called his name, wherever they have tied him, wherever remote or whatever evil manipulation they are using to manipulate him. Father, Lord, one with you is one with the majority. Father, King of glory, come and put our enemies to shame. Come and prove that we are serving a living God. Our Father, King of glory, in no distant time, let us testify your goodness in our life. In the name of Jesus, our Father, King of glory, come and manifest. Come and manifest. Come and show me that I'm worshiping one true God. Father, Lord, anywhere, any bondage, spiritual attack, evil. Roland, things are not improving at all. Instead, it's getting worse. Nothing is improving. Nothing. You see, the, the mistake I made was I didn't follow you when you left. Look at me wallowing in a, in a baseless platform. That is. I could remember I told you when I was leaving that I'm no longer comfortable with whatever they are doing there. But you had a contrary view. You said everything was fine. And I thought to myself that you are, it is your decision. You made a decision and I cannot persuade you to come with me. So I have to leave. It's so unfortunate. Sincerely speaking, I was blind. I couldn't see. And look at the mess I found myself in. I spoke to Mike earlier today that I don't want to associate myself with the affairs of that church anymore. Did you actually? Yes! I have decided to join my family in their own place of worship. Instead, I can stay at home and do nothing. Uh, no, no, it's no. It's better for me. No, 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 Matthias. No. See, Matthias, uh, if I must say, 
I would prefer you join your family to worship with them on Sunday. At least, go to where you can hear the word of God. It is better than staying at home because they say an idle mind is the devil's workshop. You see, what pains me the most is I did not gain anything from that church. Not even I. one. Likewise, I. Instead, I was wasting my resources there. And my wife was never happy with me. The day you visited, we had a heated argument. In fact, it was even your presence that calmed the situation. <laughs> um, actually, I noticed it that day. From the look on your wife's face, I know that everything was not fine. Let me tell you the truth, my brother. Your wife has never been happy with you. Since the day you made the decision to worship with that church. At the time, she came to complain to me bitterly. Yet, what will I do? I have to calm her down. I told her to be patient with you. That a time will come when you come back to your senses and you will leave yourself. And look at it. The time has come. And I really thank God that you come back to your senses. Brother, I messed up. I know, I messed up. I messed up. No, no, don't, don't say that. Don't hit yourself over it. We can still make amends. We can still make corrections to the mistake that was made. Eh? So, I am here for you. We can look forward together. How to make it back. kind of life is this? If I had listened to my wife, I wouldn't go through all this. I can't even feed my family anymore. And the worst of it is that the bank is on my neck. No hope to refund. No hope to to pay them back. Do I do? You're welcome. What's that you hiding? It is so painful, but I took this decision to take, to take my life. This is, this is too much for me. It's too much for me. Let me end my life and rest in peace, please. I just have to come up with this. I'm tired. I'm tired. I just want to take my life and rest in peace. What am I living for? I just want to take your life and rest in peace. You see, I've given up. It's unfortunate I've given up hope. How can you give up like that? You give up on me? On our son? Just Honey, suicide is not an option. It is not an option. You can't even rest in peace. Suicide is a crime. It is a crime against yourself. 
It is despicable. Is it a stop? If you do this, you will go straight to hell. There is no peace for you. And what do I do on earth? When I can't even feed my family. I'm worse than an infidel. And this is the worst moment any man could ever imagine. I'm tired. I'm tired, isn't it? Nothing is working. It is still not an option. <laughs> I am here for you no matter what. Please. Everything will be fine. Please. Everything will be fine. I thank God for sending me back on time. If not, it would have been a different story altogether. What were you thinking? Well, all I can say is that God still loves his family. Because uh, one thing for sure is that nothing spoils if he cannot endorse it. He still loves his family and I appreciate it. I took the substance to a pharmacist who confirmed to me that it is one of the most poisonous chemical elements. Honey, how did you get hold of something like that? Where did you get it? Is it me? There's something you must know. When you're desperate for something, you get it. Especially to something that has no value for life. That is why you see all these uh, criminals getting AK-47 rifles when they're desperate in need of it. That's life. I'm glad that um, you decided to part ways with that your pastor. That's a way to go. What we need to do now is to pray together. It's a battle. Fight together. And by God's grace, I trust God. He never fails. Everything will be fine. And we need to get Pastor Raph involved as soon as possible. In fact, tomorrow. I need to go and see him tomorrow. Well, I'm in full support to you. Who has um, deemed it fit to you know, improve the condition of his family. I really appreciate you. You see, one thing you need to understand as well is God is God. And he has I, my family. Victory, victory is mine. Pastor, you're welcome. Yes. Zine, what is it? Pastor, I've called, I've called. I've been to your office. I was told you, you, you went for a meeting. Yes, yes, I saw your calls when I was in the meeting. I hope all is well. Pastor, my husband wanted to commit suicide. Jesus. Jesus, this is serious. Jesus, please sit. This is serious. Let me pray with you. Jesus name. Amen. Jesus saved the soul and his family. Jesus. This is serious. What is he doing right now? Pastor, he's not doing anything. Jesus. Since the fire incident, he has not gone out for work. He doesn't do anything. He's always in the house. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Your husband is having a very serious problem. Isn't it? This is serious. I saw your husband inside a black box. Tied hands and legs that he cannot move. Jesus, your husband has a very great destiny. He is destined for greatness. But you see, there are unseen hands that keep on 
taking him back, pulling him backward. But God is going to arise and scatter them. Amen. He's going to wither all their hands. Amen. Is he going to do the prayers that I want to recommend? Yes. Are you sure? He has changed. Yes. Right. I, I, I know he would do it. He can't Jesus. be still asleep. Cause the Lord is my shepherd. I should know one, one. So I'm my shepherd. See the scriptures. You have to pray with the scriptures. You have to meditate on them. You're going to pray against every evil hand that keeps pulling him down. Pray that the Lord should uplift him and bring him to his destiny. Trust me, if you do these prayers with faith, you are going to come back with a testimony. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let me Thank pray you, Pastor. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Because the Lord is by my side. <laughs> when are we starting the prayer? Ah, Today, today, this night. Uh, there's no time to waste. It's a five-day prayer. Uh, is Kenneth joining us in the prayer? No. If Kenneth out of it, it's just both of us. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Even if it would take more than five days, I'm ready. Nokwa. Like the spirit. I'm ready. That is the spirit. Brother Martin, how is me, Pastor Douglas? How are you? Yes. Is everything okay with you? Did your wife tell you she was in my office the other day and rained abuses on herself and not me? She purposely came to my office demanding that I refund a hundred thousand naira. You willingly give to the ministry for your own progress. Did she tell you? Um, sir. Well, I, I took the money from her box without her consent. And she was very angry when I told her that I used the money for um, a seed offering to the church. So, you know, I am sorry for whatever I trust, I mean, for whatever um, actions she must have taken. Uh, the money belongs to her. She's the rightful owner. She was right to ask for her money? Jesus Christ. That means you're justifying her actions? Sir, like I said, I am sorry for her actions. But she, she has the right to be angry. Because I took that money without her consent. Ah. I can now understand that it was a Yes, both of you planned to insult me and God. Let me warn you, from today henceforth, I do not wish to see you, your wife, or any member of your family in my church. If you do, you will regret it. You cannot do anything. What did you say, Brother Martin? I cannot do anything? You can't do anything, sir. In my own name, but spiritually. Sir, you can't do anything. Sorry to say this, you can't do anything. Look, I, I, I can look. I am. I regretted being foolish, falling in the hands of a trustor like you, by using a, a, the, the the name of God to, to to deceive people like me. Sir, listen to me, sir. Honestly speaking, you are not going to cut free for all this you have done, and then the nemesis will, will start counting now. Very soon, you to you to catch up with you. No, it's all right. I heard you. There's no element of a human presence in you. Spiritually, you are dead, I know. You're a fool. Very big one. And let me. Okay. Let's watch and see. You will know why God called me to be a prophet. You're an idiot. Yeah. come like before. Be careful you give your heart to, 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 to. Oh, no, no, no. Father in the name of Jesus Amen. Abba Father King of Glory Prince of Peace 
the I am that I am, the God of yesterday, today, and forever. The omnipotent, the omniscient, omnipresent God. Yes. The I am that I am. Yes. Father, your word said that whatever we bind on earth is bind in heaven. Yes, Lord. Our Father, King of glory, I bind, I destroy, I come against it. any evil spirit. Hell, any evil ritual that has been done on my husband, oh King of Glory, I lose it in the name of Jesus. Fire, I amen. lose it in the name of Jesus. Fire, I amen. destroy it in the name of Jesus. Fire, amen. Amen. I destroy it in the name of Jesus. Fire, Abba amen. Father, King of Glory, light and darkness have nothing in common. Yes. Abba Father, King of Glory, manifest, show that we are serving the living God. Amen. Father, there's no God greater than you. Yes, Father, Lord. King of glory. Release Amen. the fire of the Holy Spirit Amen. to destroy, to Amen. destroy, Amen. to destroy, fire. to destroy, fire. to burn fire. any ritual Amen. that must have done yes. on my husband, yes, his business, his career, everything. I destroy and burn them in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Since you still insist on inheriting this family land, you will never live to do so. You will never live, you will not. Any day, any day you step your feet on this family land, that day you will die. But you are going to die. You are going to die. You are going to Mazi GDK, take your charm, get out of this land and repent of your evil deeds. This is your last opportunity. Mbano, I just had a walk in. 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 Mazi HDK, because you have remained adamant, I would not repent of your evil deed. You will not face the consequences. I need the first claim on that land. I... Uh, what happened? <laughs> the, the, the land. Which of the land are you talking about? It is that land you people decided because in his favor. What happened? Ah! what happened to the land? What happened to it? 
I want to talk about the shop. Hey! By the fire! Ah! What's up, the mayor? You went to bury a town in your nephew's land? Hey! Hey! What's up, man? I can see the fingers of the gods in this matter. Hey, Jidike, it serves you right. You refuse to shun evil deeds. The evil you plan for another person, an innocent person, has come back to you. Amadi, you know never. Oh, hey! Help me. Let's take him to, to the doorstep where people will see him. Please, help me do this. Please. The tragedy that occurred last night. Pastor Douglas and Ezu the witch doctor were both shot dead by an arm dog at his shrine. Are you serious? Yes. You know what's happening? Just a week ago, my uncle died mysteriously. And I was told that he, he confessed his evil deeds before he died. And here is just no news. Hi! Something is confusing me here. Pastor Douglas. Which doctor? What did the pastor... I don't, I don't understand it. What did he... What did he go there to do? No one. Uh, why were they shot at the same time? It's not clear yet. But many believe that uh, he patronizes the witch doctor as the arm robber himself. Hey! And I think they had a misunderstanding that led to the shooting of both men. The arm robber fled the scene before the police could arrive. Hmm. This is strange. Unpredictable. So Pastor Douglas patronizes the witch doctor. <laughs> hey! You know what? Are you surprised? Huh? <laughs> you think all these seeds and cash donation is, is... He uses something in the book. Yes! Yes! Now it's clear. Because I was wondering how... Sensible men and women would just be donating, sowing seed. With their cars, the refrigerator, their houses, their 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 money. Now oh, it's clear. That was where he gets his powers. Okay. We have to use about fasting and prayer again. It's very important though. This one has cleared my eyes. I want to appreciate you for that. Yeah? <laughs> when I was telling you, you this superpower. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I said it. So you see, you see, what? Dr. Chu's hospital. People are going there to see their dead bodies. I'm not going. It's not my portion. They were shot by an armed robber, who the police said is on their wanted list. The other person. He's an Egypt doctor. Unfortunately, both of them were shot in Native Doctor's shrine. See, what I don't understand is what was Pastor Douglas doing in Native Doctor's shrine? Like, I don't understand. We don't know what happened, but the police are still on the matter. Come, let me show you the dead bodies.
Hurry up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jesus, send me a mommy, 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 no, not only that, they have given me a sum of 20 million naira as a start on the phase one project. Yes, to start with the contract, at least the first phase. <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> Just get it. I never knew it was sent to my mail yesterday. It was when I got to the office, they said they've sent it since last night. Look at the money. They got it. Kill <laughs> it. You're going back to school on Monday. <laughs> And then mama, just like that, just like that. God has done it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Hey. Victory, victory is mine. No matter what comes my way, victory is mine. Victory, victory is mine. No matter what comes my way, victory is mine. This battle, I'll win it. Cause the Lord is by my side, I'll win it. This battle, I'll win it. Cause the Lord is my shepherd, I should know one, one. So I'm a show, yes I'm a show. That victory, victory, victory is mine. Oh, victory. Victory, victory is mine. No matter what comes my way, victory is mine. Victory, victory is mine. No matter what comes my way, victory is mine. This battle, I'll win it. Cause the Lord is by my side, I'll win it. This battle, I win it. Cause the Lord is my shepherd. I should know one, one. So I'm a show. Yes, I'm a show. That victory, 